And as always in New York, it's snowing outside. So, how are we gonna make this haircut happen? I've worked really hard to get this beautiful body and it's eating wonderful things like this. This is a, uh, what, what is this? Vanilla shoe. This is a vanilla shoe with the, uh, I think there's cream inside it. Wow. This is from this place called Mahzadar, right over there with the blue canopy. Everyone can agree on when they're having good food, how happy it makes them. So, I think, I think, I'm not sure yet, but I think that the direction of this channel should be food and travel. exciting episode I wanted to talk about uh, what I asked you know everyone to comment in my YouTube video last time and a lot of people came back with food and travel so today I'm, I'm here at a really cool place uh, which is called the deco in Midtown it's a small little little spot where um, you know it's an ode to the 1930s and they've got a bunch of cool places and I'm here today to eat at a really interesting spot and it's called um, called Nonsense and they do traditional Afghani food which I'm super excited to, to, to try. Wait, some history uh, of Afghanistan and Afghani cuisine before we jump into the food aspect of it. I, I don't think it's fair, right? You know? So, for centuries, Afghanistan was the gateway to India and China. Um, currently, Afghanistan borders Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, China, Pakistan, Iran, and it was a place you know, that Marco Polo crossed through to get to China and the British went through to get to India. So Afghanistan has been at the crossroads of a lot of cultures and a lot of different cuisines. So with that said, Afghani cuisine has been heavily influenced by Persian, Indian, and Mongolian style of cooking. From India came uh, a lot of the chilies, the saffron, the garam masala, which is a combination of cardamom, cinnamon, uh, cloves, uh, cumin, nutmeg, and things like that. Um, from Persia, you had the contribution of a lot of coriander, mint, yogurt, and sabzi, or vegetables and, and, and um, spinach influence. And from Mongolia, we find that there is you know, a lot of noodles and dumplings that are part of the Avani cuisine. Um, meals typically include a lot of bread and rice, which is a staple uh, in this region. And um, a lot of the rices are considered pilafs, or what we like to call uh, pulao. Uh, one of the most famous you know, types of pulao or rice dish is the kabuli pulao. And that has um, a lot of uh, slow-cooked meat, 
um, and carrots, ground cinnamon, and nuts included, which is very unique to Afghani cuisine. So yeah, that's a little bit of history. Um, let's get back into the review. Uh, a lot of people have commented that I need to step out of my comfort zone, so I'm trying the uh, potato one. Wow. Should really work. Really, really good. So these are uh, these are beef mandus, and they're inside of a yogurt sauce. So you got a little bit of a bread to dip into the yogurt and, and try to taste how it is. And this stuff is is delicious, and it's got some lentils on top of it. It's like a little mint yogurt. It tastes so good. So much, man. Oh, so much food. So let's uh, let's dig into this. And let me just show you. Let's see the beef and the yogurt sauce. So good. This is, you know, I think, I think maybe, maybe I should try making this. I, I love it so much. It's been years since I had it. I haven't had a chapli kebab. I think I should try making this. What, what do you think? Um, the 
food was amazing. Um, if you guys get a chance, come out to uh, Nonsense here in the Deco, and this is the owner, Mohib. Uh, definitely, definitely check it out uh, on 39th between 8th and 9th Avenue, 7th and 8th Avenue. Check it out. This food is amazing. Thank you, man. Thank you. It's definitely worth coming here. Thank you. But yeah, check it out. Uh, the Deco. Really, really good.